and welcome to your Go Market update for the 31st of May 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst Go Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. With the US closed last night because of Memorial Day, European markets were the focus. Uh, these followed the strong US lead, moved to the upside despite rising oil price. But the rhetoric around about that is starting to sound like concern to me. We are seeing US futures mixed in early trade and they're off the highs of the session. Nasdaq is the outperformer there, up around about 0.4%. The Asian indices are mildly weaker this morning after a strong day yesterday. Just perhaps a little bit of cautious profit taking going on. ASX is down around 0.3%. And European futures are also pointing to a lower open at this stage. US dollar index is testing short-term support. We actually broke through it last night. We've recovered a little bit in Asia today to take us right back to that support level. Gold is hovering around 18.50. And oil is the major story really pushing through the critical 120 a barrel as the Eurozone debates further sanctions against Russia. The VIX continues to drop, but has paused today so far on that futures weakness. Trading around about 26, which is actually very positive compared to where it has been over the last few weeks. We saw a little pop in cryptos yesterday, closed above the 30,000 key level on Bitcoin. A little follow through this morning to date, but that high close that we haven't seen since the beginning of the month certainly may have market attention. We'll need to see some follow through because we've actually been here before and then subsequently dropped back into that short range between 28 and 30 we've been talking about for some time on the data front we've already had chinese pmi data come out this was slightly shy of expectations and not dramatically so again we are seeing the covid situation improving which is one bit of good news for the market later on we've got german employment being the major european data point and then we've got us housing data and consumer confidence out later also, there just may be, because of the run we've had over the last week, there may be just some caution regarding jobs data later in the week. So we may see a slightly flatter session tonight. But quite often, after a long weekend, we see some buying coming back in, certainly in the early stages. So difficult one to call for later, but risks remain relatively high at this stage. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, let's start with looking at Bitcoin. You can see there that 30,000 level, which really has been a significant resistance since the beginning of May. We've had several attempts to break through it without holding. But you can see there there's a slight, slightly different sentiment going on with it closing around about this 31,400 level. Some follow through in Asia, but you can see it's well off its highs already in Asia. The other thing of concern is, of course, this low volume that we see there may be reflective of the fact that the US markets weren't open. So follow through on this is key if we're to see it move up. And obviously that 35,400 level that we've marked on the chart was previous support and hence may become resistance technically going forward. Uh, if we look at the ASX, we are liking LYC still. We've talked about this stock before and we are seeing it test this key level at 980, we moved right up to it on a high volume candle yesterday. And you can see today, although we are off our highs, we are trading above that. If we get some consolidation of this and move higher, then we could see this break at $10 and possibly even move up as high as 1050 ultimately. So one certainly to watch and looks strong after this recent retracement to move to the upside. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.